Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So we got Anthony fucking Schwartz, man. This is a player that shouldn't even made it to training camp. I'm, this is how bad Anthony Schwartz is, and everybody's well aware of it, you feel me? We've all lost faith in this dude, and it's not our fault. It's his fucking fault, you feel me? So we drafted Schwartz two years ago in the third round, and we was excited, you know, Schwartz from the highlights. A fast fucking dude. He's fast as shit. Beating dudes over the top. He can do your little reverses, jet sweeps. This is somebody that we needed, bro. We needed a player like that. But we were all delusional, bro. Because when you really think about it, all Schwartz ever really brought to the table was jet sweeps, reverses, and being over the top on streaks. That's it. He was never a guy that's shifty, juke moves, spin moves. He's not your biggest receiver. He's not somebody that makes contested grabs. He's not anybody that's shifty, not a yards after the catch threat. None of that shit. He's not somebody that's going across the middle, taking hits. Schwartz was literally just a dude that really thrived off speed in college. And it has caught up to him on a professional level because he has not been able to make the transition. He has not been able to make the transition, bruh. You can't put his ass receipt at receiver because, number one, he can't catch the ball. It's plain and simple. You can have him run a simple slant. He'll be open. He can't catch the ball. He drops balls. Schwartz is scared of contact. He will drop the ball because he sees somebody coming. Schwartz cannot absorb hits and hold onto the ball reliably. You feel me? Schwartz cannot be open and reliably catch the ball in general. You feel me? So it really doesn't matter if he can run deep because guess what? He is not grasping the basic concept of professional wide receiver to even touch the field. You feel me? For those reasons. So, you know, when you draft the dude that runs a 4 2 7, it's like, hey, you know what? We got him in the third round. He's fast as shit. He's a project. You know, maybe he may, he may not be developing well at receiver, but hey, let's throw us out some special teams. We got to get something out of his ass. You feel me? You can't even put him at return. You can't put him at return. They go blast his ass. He's fucking small. He's six foot 180. They go blast his little ass, man. He ain't been in the weight room all three years. He's the same size he was when he came to league. He ain't got no muscle. That's why he keep fumbling that damn ball, bro. It was a time when Schwartz was getting the ball on returns. He got blasted. And they had to escort his ass off the field. I think this was last year or the year before. You can't put him on return. And that's what makes the difference between him and other dudes that flop at receiver. You feel me? That are just happen to be fast. Look at Jeremy Grant. I mean, not Jeremy Grant, Jakeem Grant. Jakeem Grant is not the best receiver. But he's a special teams dude because of his speed and he's a football player. John Ross was not the best receiver, but he's a football player. You feel me? Even though he was some shit too, but at least he caught the ball, you know? Cordell Patterson was not the best receiver, but he found his way in the league as a return man, and now he's playing running back. You can't push Schwartz out fucking running back either. We ain't even got to talk about that. He can't play no damn running back, man. You feel me? So the difference between Schwartz and all these other dudes that may not pan out our receivers is that they're actual football players. You feel me? Schwartz is not a football player. Schwartz is supposed to be getting ready to run the Olympics next year. He's a track star, bruh. That's it. That's what it is. He's a track star. He's not a real football player, bro. And it's just sad because we're not getting anything out of him. We can't get shit out of him. We can't put him anywhere on the field. He literally is useless. He's useless. That's why I don't understand why they ain't been cut his ass. He should have not have made it to the training camp, bro. He's not good. He's not good. They're going to cut his ass. They made them on the practice squad. Schwartz ain't even worth being on somebody's practice squad. That's how bad this dude is. And this is how skillless he is. You feel me? He's that fucking bad. It doesn't matter if you're fast. All that shit goes out the window if you can't catch no balls. If you can't make plays. Schwartz is not a playmaker on a professional level. I'm sorry, bro. You do not want to see Schwartz touching the ball. So when they cut Schwartz, Schwartz needs to not even try to join anybody else's roster. Schwartz needs to go hit the track and get ready for the fucking 2024 Olympics, bro. Straight up. That's your lane, bro. This football shit, you, 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 did, you did good enough. You made it, bro. But you're not staying here, bro. I'm just being real. Schwartz is not going to be making it on a professional level. I'm not even planning on his downfall. I'm just being real. He is not. 
a professional wide receiver. Flat out. And we all know it. But guess what? He gonna get cut. He gonna get signed. Somebody gonna do that race. Oh, he runs a 427. Oh shit. He, he got potential. He's still young. No, this motherfucker sucks. You feel me? Straight up. So yeah, when Schwartz get cut, it's all good. You try, but hey, fuck you. You feel me? You're not good. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section about Schwartz. Let me know what y'all think, man. Like I said, it was a bad pick from the get-go anyway. We fucked up, but hey, at least we go move on because I know he not making the roster. If he makes the roster, something is wrong. You feel me? He may be fucking somebody on the low or something. I don't know. You feel me? But let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I got more content coming soon.